and I'm busy for one weekend and they shoot down three UFOs. So we're gonna go over details of the incidents, speculate why exactly is this publicly reported on. We'll do a quick rundown of Project Bluebeam and what Linda Moulton Howe told me this weekend about what's up next for disclosure. And you don't wanna miss that. So what we know, three UFOs were shot down in three days. According to John Kirby, a White House spokesperson, on February 10th, the US government sent two F-22, that's what these are, to go check what it was. And this cylindrical object got shot down. On February 11th, Canadian and US forces worked together to take down the unidentified unmanned object, which was also cylindrical. And the third object appeared to be a small metallic balloon with a tethered payload. Now, I would expect a lot of these details to change over the coming weeks. As many of us know, aliens are real, and the US government has been aware of that for a very long time. So why is this news? Why is this public? Of course, we can only speculate. And as Tom Green pointed out so well, that this could be a massive distraction, especially the environmental disaster that's going on in Ohio that's completely overshadowed by this UFO story. Now, what I wonder, is this part of a larger disclosure plan? And I know a lot of you want my personal take, I don't think it's Bluebeam. I don't think it's actually aliens. Personally, I think it's a tiny little part of disclosure and being able to shoot down an invader makes people feel more comfortable and safe. Maybe steps. Now in this book, AD After Disclosure, they put it so beautifully. Disclosure is impossible because secrecy is the immovable object. Disclosure is inevitable because truth is an irresistible force. And in this book, he says that disclosure will only come when it is absolutely forced. But what exactly could force disclosure? He makes a list from what is the least likely to force it, photographic evidence, because we already have a ton, to the most likely thing, which would be either a mass sighting or aliens deciding for themselves. And according to Linda, there is a disclosure plan already underway. First, let's go over the other thing that everyone's talking about. The possibility that this is some alien invasion, or better yet, a staged alien invasion. Project Bluebeam, Four Steps to Global Domination. This idea comes from investigative journalist Serge Monest, where in his book Project Bluebeam, he claimed that NASA, with the help of the United Nations and secret societies, was going to stage a fake alien invasion, implement a new age religion, bring on the Antichrist and start the new world order. And the easiest way to get the whole world under one government would be to have a common enemy. And who could be a common enemy with the whole planet? If that's not my words, that's Ronald Reagan. Who says, thinks about how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if facing an alien threat from an outside world. Bill Clinton actually said the same thing on Jimmy Kimmel in 2014. It may be the only way to unite a divided world. Our differences would seem small if we felt threatened by a space invader. Now, it is a little ironic that so many of the people who put out positive information about UFOs all happen to be at one place in LA at the Conscious Life Expo having the time of our lives while the mainstream media hijacked the alien narrative. But it gave me this opportunity. I've always been a professional journalist. I did my master's work at Stanford University. I have a master's degree in communication. I've worked in TV stations most of my career. It was animal mutilations with no blood, strange surgeries in 1979 that I investigated with veterinarians doing necropsies, coming up with hard medical data that this could not be being done by predators. This was being done by some kind of surgery technology. And what is so significant is if the government is signaling that they're getting ready to finally announce we are not alone in this universe. We never have been. It is teeming with consciousness. It will be perhaps this spring in April that it will begin. And it will be the first time on earth that officials make a decision to finally tell the whole planet one truth, just one. Wow. We are not alone in this universe. <laughs> oh my God. And so would you book, that is your professional prediction that it will happen possibly this year or next? I have been told by people who work in aerospace and the military last year that in April of 2023, there was going to be a series of events that would lead up to using the James Webb telescope, breaking news, 
Webb has confirmed a biological signature on, and it will be the fourth planet of the Trappist One or Proxima A and B. It will be a solar system. And the key two words are biological signature. That does not mean beings, it means life. And this seems very odd. I know, I'm going to. Not to we, the people who are going to watch this, don't worry. <laughs> we still live on a planet in which the official government approach is to classify reality. Mm. And in classifying reality, we are now looking into the spring of 2023 that an announcement by the Webb telescope that it found a biological signature is going to be world cracking news. This is getting to be absurd. For us to be on a planet that is still insisting that there's no other life in this cosmos, it is so absurd to be laughable. And if we can get past all of that, if we can say, here is a truth, there is some biological life on another solar system. And if there's one, there's going to be a lot more. And ladies and gentlemen, we're now finally going to open up the classified reality. And we're going to finally start telling you the truth. I want wow. to be alive for that. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I'm so honored to be your first TikTok interview. They love you over there. They all asked to make sure that I at least got something with you. So thank you so much. Thank you, TikTok people. <laughs> we'll have to keep doing more. <laughs> like Linda said, a series of events would lead up to April 2023, where the James Webb Telescope would confirm that there was some form of biological life out there. But why is disclosure taking so long? Let's take a look at Gaia TV, the new episode of Cosmic Disclosure that just came out today. Emery Smith asks Richard Doty, how is the U.S. government planning on putting all of this disclosure together? Richard Doty, a former counterintelligence officer, said, yes, they are discussing disclosure, but only of recent information. And that's one of the problems that they're facing, is that full disclosure would require the government to admit that they have, in his word, kept us disinformed, flat out fucking lied to us since 1947. Probably even before that. Marie asks, well, who's in charge of the messaging of this narrative? Richard Doty said that's part of the problem. There's so many different departments in defense and the government and research that there's just so many different hands in the pot that they can't decide on how to go about it. And for those of you who don't know, I'm interviewing Tim from Cosmic Disclosure this Friday.